Welcome back to the 30th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one we'll talk a bit more about those dynamic URLs like we did in the last video uh, in the Python code but in this one we're talking about it in the templates rather than in the Python itself. So let's go and look at a, uh, a place where there's links. So I can do that by going to the base.html which if you remember is where we have this bootstrap navigation bar defined and there's lots of links here. So these are the links for the navigation bar. You can see we've got a home button here and a profile button. Now my development server is running and these links, as you can see, they do currently work. But you can also see that they're hard coded in, in this base.html template, which isn't a good thing as we discussed in the previous video. So to get around this, I'm going to use a similar thing to what I did in the Python code, but I'm just gonna do it in the templates as well. So the way that you do that is using the curly brackets and I'm going to say like this, this is the syntax for uh, saying uh, a more dynamic URL and all I want to say is the name of this uh, URL. So like just like with re the reverse function in the Python code, I'm going to look at the name for this URL, so in this case it's the, the be it forward slash account, forward slash profile, and I called it view profile. So I'll just put that in the base template instead. So view profile. So now if we refresh that, uh, it should still work. So doing the URLs like that in your Django project is gonna be much better because it makes it more dynamic. And if you want to change part of that URL, then you're not gonna have to change all the links that link to a particular URL with a given name. So I'm not going to waste your time doing all the links on this page, but I will uh, do that off camera so that you don't have to watch me change every single one. But I will point out also that if you haven't changed all the links over in the Python code, like this redirect link and uh, anywhere, anywhere that you've hard-coded URLs like that, if you've been following along with this tutorial series, then uh, it's, it's going to be a good opportunity for you to just go through and change them all. Then that would just be much better because the URLs are going to be much more dynamic and we can change them more easily if we need to in the future. The other thing I wanted to do was just create a quick template because if you remember, if we go to account forward slash reset password, uh, we still haven't created a template for this page itself. So all we, all we need is a template with a form on. Uh, so I'm just going to duplicate the login.html for that. Uh, it's just a very simple template with a form on it but that's really all it needs for this particular page. Uh, at least for now, we don't want to get too complicated with styling and stuff like that. It's going to be more functional rather than beautiful. So I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm going to call it reset password. And so now that's been created. So I'm just going to change this slightly. So I'm just going to say uh, password reset. Pretty much using the same as this, but it's just going to look like it's our website. So I'm going to copy this text as well and I'll put that in our own template. And then that should, oh, I'll change this button as well. So reset password. And that should be all we need to do to be able to make that template work. So the only other thing is we need to connect it to something. So if we go to our URLs, uh, I can see, so we're using the default view, which means we need to pass template in like we did up here. So I'm just going to copy this one from the login as well and I'll paste that down there and just change the name to reset password dot html like that and now if we refresh this hopefully it should work. So there you go that's how you create another template. Uh, as you can see now that we've done that a couple of times before it's much much quicker and that's, uh, that's going to be much more consistent and in line with the rest of our website now. So I think adding that final custom template really made a substantial improvement to the site and it made us sort of, it's, it's much more contained within itself now. We don't have to use Django templates for really anything other than the actual admin and we don't even use the Django login itself because we've rewritten our own. So it's much more within our own sort of ecosystem because it's much more consistent with our own design and stuff like that. So that's all for this one but in the next one we're going to talk about a little thing called the name space.